Now to a live look at the CBS2 Mobile Weather Lab. This is in West Suburban Roselle now, and as you can see here, looks like the rain has stopped at least in this part of town, and the streets are even starting to dry, uh, dry up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And here is a look, though, from Chicago. Let's take a look here closer to the loop. We can see oh, still yeah. dark skies, ominous skies, and clouds hanging low. Let's go back to Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon timing out the storms for us tonight. Albert. Yeah, now through midnight, it's going to be busy. Waves of showers and thunderstorms building in. The overall main concern now through midnight will be street flooding. That's why a flood watch has been posted for Cook County, all of the city of Chicago, western and northern suburbs also included, and that will expire at midnight. Here's what we're tracking now through the overnight. You see the spin of the atmosphere. This is an upper level area of low pressure. Pressure that's pinwheeling these little arms of instability. The first one now over the lake, and we still have showers right along the lake. We'll zoom into those in just a second. And here comes the second one moving into Mendota and LaSalle County and also into DeKalb County with quite a bit of lightning. So a little bit of a lull in the activity out here towards the far western suburbs and down here towards the south. But the radar will fill in over the next hour or so. This is a big thunderstorm moving off towards the east, embedded in all this rainfall here in the northern sections of LaSalle County. Not just torrential downpours, the potential for 50 mile per hour winds and this thunderstorm has also had the history of producing some funnel clouds not touching the ground so not considered a tornado but we're watching it closely even in that little scan last scan a little bit of rotation with it so here in Chicago no severe weather we have some downpours that are building though out here towards the west moving out of DuPage County moving into Forest Park right now and moving a little bit closer to Midway and Cicero and we'll be moving over downtown and the rest of the city here over the next half hour this will be the trend again now through the evening hours, waves of showers and storms, torrential downpours that could trigger some flash flooding concerns. That's eight o'clock with a chance of even an isolated severe thunderstorm coming in out of the west. Not widespread rainfall. This is going to be more scattered, but where it's raining here this evening, it will be heavy. And then as we get a little bit closer to midnight, things start to wind down. That's 11 p.m. Certainly still some downpours on the Doppler radar, but mainly here along the lake and shifting off towards the east and through about 2 a.m. Still some heavier downpours around and by 6 a.m. Just a couple of showers to start the day. So we're going to put the rain chance for your Tuesday only at 20% to account for some early morning showers because the afternoon looks great. Decreasing cloud cover, strong winds out of the north, high temperatures will be in the 70s. That uh, northerly wind bringing in that cooler air. It's also going to build some big time waves out over Lake Michigan tonight and through the day tomorrow. Beach hazard in effect until tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Get this, we're expecting waves between now and tomorrow evening, six to nine foot. The uh, weather service is calling this life threatening swimming conditions. So stay out of the water tomorrow and of course hazardous to dangerous boating conditions as well. Gets real nice though by Wednesday 82 mostly sunny chance of showers mainly in the morning and 81 on Thursday 84 on Friday. We're focused in on the heat this weekend near 90 Saturday. We'll go low 90s Sunday and Monday of next week summer and we're not done with it yet. All right. Well, it sounds like we have a lot to watch tonight for sure though. Yeah, we know you will. Thanks Albert.